It is now my privilege to introduce the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral James Winnefeld, who will introduce the 2014 Lifetime Achievement Award honoree and assist John Lowe and Cynthia Gilman in presenting the award. Please join me in welcoming Admiral Winnefeld. All right, thank you, Jennifer. And what a great evening and a wonderful venue for such a special occasion. And it really is a special privilege for me tonight to personally pay tribute to a man has, who has dedicated so much of his life to others. I regularly remind people that our military is a family business, and no one epitomizes that sentiment more than Ken Fisher and his wonderful wife, Tammy, who have carried on the Fisher family legacy of focusing on military families. I first became aware of the Fisher House over two decades ago when I worked for General Colin Powell, then Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It was abundantly clear to me that General Powell thought the world of Zachary and Elizabeth Fisher. Mary and I witnessed firsthand the power of this organization in my next tour as we helped cook Thanksgiving dinner at one of the original Fisher Houses at the Naval Medical Center in San Diego. Fisher House has grown exponentially in scope and importance over our nation's last 13 years of war, including building 63 houses in the United States, Germany, and the United Kingdom, and their building more. Fisher House provides the next best thing to being home with family, and we all know the strength of family during the healing process. But as we all know, the Fishers are not content with just providing housing. Hero Miles allow family members to travel to the bedside of injured service members at no cost. And if the local house is full, their Hotels for Heroes program covers hotel costs for families. If you log into the Fisher House website, you can see the incredible numbers of people they've supported over the years. More than 200,000 families have been served since their inception and more than 22,000 in 2013 alone. That's enormous. 7,000 students have received $11 million in scholarship awards. Over 46,000 airline tickets have been provided by Hero Miles to service members and their families worth nearly $60 million. But those are only the public numbers of support. The foundation is right there behind the scenes whenever tragedy occurs. Candidly, they can be much more agile than we can be in DOD. So they don't just wait for families to approach them. After the recent Fort Hood shooting, the Fisher House Foundation was instantly there with support. Hero Miles provided round trip tickets for family members of the wounded who required hospital stays. They provided round trip tickets in support of family members of the deceased to attend the memorial ceremony. Of course, multiple families were housed in the Fisher House, and others were given rooms in the Marriott, and of course, the base commander chose to meet with families at the Fisher House. Their focus is to quietly assist our families by filling in the gaps while honoring their service and their privacy. And they're led by Zachary Fisher's nephew, Ken, who is chairman of the Fisher House Foundation. His selfless work has brought relief to thousands of people at the most difficult moments of their lives when the only thing they should be concerned with is their loved one's recovery. If it's something having to do with helping military families, Ken is probably not very far away and probably helping us maintain high standards, whatever it is. He's not only a nice guy, but he is one tough cookie. He's also an honorary Marine and an honorary Green Beret. You can see all of the other well-deserved recognition he's received from the military in your program. Quite honestly, I'm humbled to be near someone who puts service before self and giving before wealth, helping families with health and doing it with stealth. <laughs> Ken, on behalf of our military family, thank you so much for your lifetime of service, integrity, sacrifice, and commitment to us, 
we will be forever grateful, and I cannot think of anyone more suitable for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the recipient of the 2014 Heroes of Military Medicine Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Ken Fisher. Good evening. You know, tonight is a night of very special honors for me, uh, but the first is being introduced by Admiral Winterfeld. And I want to tell you how grateful I am for that kind introduction. <clears throat> it truly is a great honor to be presented with this award, especially by an organization that shares so many of the goals and values of the Fisher House Foundation. And I want to thank the Jackson Foundation and President and CEO and Fisher House Trustee, John Lowe, your counsel and friendship spanning 15 years has been invaluable to me. And you are one of the reasons I stand here tonight. Now, I know I have a time limit, but you're gonna have to indulge me for a second because in order for me to stand here, I have to have a partner. And she's with me tonight, and that's my wife, Tammy. Come on, stand up. Now, I have to confess, I'm a little nervous about the whole lifetime achievement aspect. I, I just became a grandfather. And when you start receiving lifetime achievement awards and you become a grandfather at the same time, you start to wonder if there's a park bench with your name on it somewhere. <laughs> so if I've really passed my sell-by date without noticing, then I didn't raise half the ruckus that I intended. I simply haven't done enough to help our service members, our veterans, and their families. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna think of this as a so far so good achievement award. Of course, I realize that this award is not really about me. Like any recognition based on Fisher House, the true honor belongs to the service members and military families we serve. The doctors, medical and rehab staff who, just, who do such a wonderful job, and the generous donors who fund our work, they are the heroes of military medicine that we represent tonight. I want to also tell you what an honor it is for me to share the stage with Ray Odierno. General, your steadfast leadership of our Army has been nothing short of incredible during these dangerous and uncertain times. And your support for our programs has been so important to me, and I'm proud to call you a friend. So I thank you for your service to this nation. <laughs> to all of tonight's honorees, I say job well done. Now, we still have much work to do, of course, with the Iraq war over and the Afghan conflict winding down. There is a new generation of active military and veterans who have returned home. They will need our ongoing support and care for many years. And of course, the American military will continue to take on dangerous challenges and missions in a complex and volatile world. Undoubtedly, our service members will be put in harm's way again in the future and have been told that they're going to have to do more with less. 
Military medicine will be there to treat their wounds, to heal their bodies and their minds, and support them in their recovery. Fisher House will be there too. As we have learned, support for our military is a broad-based obligation for our society. Today, more than ever, with budget cuts and the scourge of sequestration, the growing unmet needs will demand public and private resources working in partnership, not just today, but well into the future. That's why it sends such a powerful message that these awards are presented by the Center for Public-Private Partnerships of the Henry M. Jackson Foundation. It's a wonderful way to highlight that private sector stands with our armed forces when it comes to the well-being of our men and women in uniform. Certainly that idea is central to everything we do at Fisher House. We help family members spend time with military personnel and veterans recovering and rehabbing in medical facilities across the country. We have 63 of these houses that we've donated to the DOD and the VA. We passed some milestones, as you heard, 200,000 guest families, five and a half million total nights of lodging, and over 225 million in total lodging expenses. Last year, we served an unprecedented 22,000 families, and that number will continue to grow. Hero Miles, Hotels for Heroes, and our scholarship programs are all flourishing and all stand ready to help when they're needed. We have affiliated ourselves as a sponsor, administrative underwriter or supporter with those scholarship programs aimed at the children and their spouses, 7,000 students, $11 million in scholarship money, never ceases to amaze me. 10 Fisher Houses will come online over the next year and a half, and every one of those houses represents our commitment to recovering service members. So that's the kind of public-private partnerships we have created. We found that the support and presence of loved ones are such an important part of the care our wounded warfighters require. We've been gratified that the medical and rehab staff recognize this fact, and they have been tremendous advocates for what we are doing. We appreciate their understanding of the value we are trying to bring to the healing process. Let me conclude by saying what a great privilege it is to work side by side, on site, with the fine medical personnel, our military health care facilities around the world. To have our efforts acknowledged as an important part of military medicine community is a great tribute and one that everyone affiliated with Fisher House can be proud of. There is no higher calling than caring for our injured or ill heroes. It is an honor to have a role in fulfilling that mission. It's time to redouble our efforts. For all of us, there is a lifetime of work yet to do. May God bless you all. May God bless those in harm's way. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now break for dinner. When we return, we will honor more extraordinary individuals. Please enjoy your meals. <laughs>